Here from Mobile Geeks, here we're taking a look at the LG G4 and comparing it to the LG G3. Now spec-wise, there has been a definite bump, but there's a lot of things that appear to be the same that aren't. So they both have 5.5 inch displays. They're both 2560 by 1440, um, but there are a lot of improvements on here. So first off, it's going to be the display itself. This is a Quantum HD uh, display on the, on the LG G4. It's 25% brighter. You can tell I'm using the G3. Yeah, so it's 25% brighter. You can see that it's just blowing out the display here, or the, the camera setting. So let's just turn that down. And it's actually got 20% a truer color accuracy than the LG G3 did. So that's a quantum IPS panel. The other difference is, if you put them up like this, you can see that the G4 comes uh, with a curved display. So this actually adds a little bit of the durability that we've seen with the LG G Flex line, um, but without the issues of like the crappy display and blotchiness because the curve is not uh, as pronounced and it's not um, flexible. So we have a metal, metal rim around the edge here and then we have these great leather backs. Now this is one of the biggest um, changes in selling features to the G4. Um, adding this kind of like leather premium back. Now, just to quickly go over it, this is done by vegetable tanning, uh, which is the same process of luxury handbags. It takes three months to give this color in here. And then uh, LG has to attach it to the polycarbonate of, of the removable back. So LG has maintained that. They've maintained the removable back with the uh, micro SD card slots the unique back button feature here. Now, but the camera has been improved. We have a 13 megapixel here, and then we have a 16 megapixel here. They've kept the two-tone flash, but, uh, and the laser, laser autofocus. But one difference is they've added in on the G4, there's actually a color spectrum sensor. So while it's taking the photo, it's actually gonna uh, do, there's a dedicated sensor for the white balance. So the colors of the camera photos are actually gonna be a lot more true than what we had on the LG G3. Now this was a great camera, but it didn't take um, as great as photos with backlighting as I thought. And I hear that the uh, F.18 uh, aperture on this one is actually going to help with a lot of the backlighting and noise on the low lighting conditions. Now another uh, improvement on the camera is the fact that the LG G4 comes with uh, a three axis optical image stabilizer. So the big difference on this is that this only comes with a single axis. Actually pretty much every smartphone on the market is only going to have a single axis OIS, whereas the LG G4 has two. So it's going to take a lot more steady photos. Now this has just been kind of a basic run through between the differences of the LG G3 and the LG G4. Um, like I said, there were a few things about the G3 that I didn't like. I thought that the battery life could have been better. I thought that the camera was great, but it could have taken slightly better photos. And all of those things seem to be corrected here on the G4. And they've kept everything that I've loved about the G3, mainly the removable battery, and, um, oh, the one thing that I need to mention that I'm missing from the LG G4 is the fact that it doesn't come with quick charge. So this is actually extremely disappointing. A lot of other flagships currently on the market come with that. I mean, the LG G3 didn't have that, but it also came with the Qi wireless charging. All right, so this has just been a kind of quick and dirty comparison of the LG G3 versus the LG G4. Um, oh, one thing I didn't mention, uh, this is this weighs a little bit more, 155 versus 159, I believe. Um, yeah, but this has just been overall the high points of the differences between